My grandfather used to say, God is with us and God will always be with us. Every time that we had the Lost Resistance Army or the LRA were in a village, it was fear. The fear of being abducted and being trained to become child soldiers. All the huts were burnt to the ground. I felt hopeless. No food, no water. It sent me into silence. My grandfather used to give us candy for memorizing Bible verses. It gave me hope. When the war intensified, my grandfather put me on a bus to live with my mother. My mother did not share much about her life because she had her own struggles. But I remember this Saturday, she woke me up and she said, I'm taking you to church. I saw children laughing. I had no idea what was going on, but I knew this was a good thing. Give me that smile. Malakwa, beautiful. And my life was forever changed. That same month, I got a letter from my husband and wife and the letter said they love me. And at that moment, I had hope that everything would be okay. Growing up, my compassion sponsors encouraged me and continually spoke truth into my life. The Compassion Project became a place of healing and restoration. It was a place of refuge for me. I got medical care. I got an education, and it became a great reminder of the Jesus that my grandfather introduced me to at the age of five. If you're thinking about sponsoring a child, I would say act, sponsor a child because for me, my life was forever changed. And you can do that too.